Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. This morning, I received my Wonder Studio beta access. So in this video, I'm just gonna give you my first impression. I have not touched this at all. I just created an account, and this is pretty much what you're gonna get right when you first log in. But basically, what I wanna find out is how easy is it, or how hard is it to make this work? First things first, big thanks to Nicola from Wonder Dynamics for hooking me up with the access. Uh, that being said, Let's get started here. So we have a couple of pre-made characters, a couple of ones. Some of them are actually really darn good. Uh, they do have some templates that you can try, but I want to do my own. So I'll create a new project. Again, I just want to know how easy it is to use this. Live action, automatically animate light and compose CG characters into a live action scene. So we'll continue that. And I have a video here that I downloaded from Artlist right here we're gonna take it easy at first okay let, let's just see um how well this works now this is a woman just kind of walking towards the camera all right so nothing too crazy nothing like that so here you go drag your videos here and i guess i just drag and drop it to the main screen all right easy enough all right so now that we have that there i'm gonna click next double click all right so we'll go scan frame for actors you can work on our frames while scanning this frame in the background. All right, that's cool. All right, so that selected the actor there, or the actress, right? Select the character. Expand the sidebar to browse and select characters, or click on a character on the right directly. So, so we have that one character already there, and I'm going to choose the cyberpunk one. So that's actor one. Okay, no, this is one click. So this, this should work. Because this is only one clip. So let's click next. Final resolution composition. Um, let's do 1080. It's actually going to let you do ProRes and match source. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of, that's bold. Because people have or submitted Pro 12Ks now, man. That's going to be a lot. Um, export individual elements. So you can get AI mocap by itself. The clean plate, alpha mask, blender scene, the camera track. In the character pass so these two are not available just yet but we didn't really have a lot of camera movements in that scene i'm not sure if it was on a tripod though that's the only problem now you can export in png or mp4 we'll stick with mp4 for now so we will start processing all right y'all so our project finished it took about maybe 84 minutes total 83 84 minutes um i took a break so this is edited two hours ago so let's go ahead and press play and let's take a look and see how that did. So basically all we did was just press a button and it pretty much calculated everything. Masking, camera tracking, everything, which is insane. So I'll press play, it's about 10 seconds. That's pretty crazy. And I was afraid about her clothing there. So that was my bad on my fault. I picked like floppy clothing definitely don't want to do that because you need to help the ai as much as you can so wonder dynamics obviously is going to mask it out but if it's flopping like that really loosely it's going to show up so that's my fault that's not the ai's fault all right so people make mistakes ai don't so here we go but aside from that aside from the floppy dress me being able to replace the character with one click absolutely just mind-blowing and and to put things in perspective because i'm seeing some people you know commenting on the channel saying hey this is not really a big deal i've been in the vfx world for like 15 years this is not really groundbreaking it's not that good well i'm gonna show you a video i did 13 years ago okay so so let, let me show you this real quick now this is super cringe so cringe alert on this one I made this 13 years ago with my cousin. We got bored one day. We decided, hey, we don't want to play WoW. Let's go make a movie, right? So we took a camcorder. You know, 360p was the best I could do back then. So I'm going to play this real quick because I'm going to show you. All right. So that's my cousin looking intense. And comes out a robot. All right. Let me tell you what it took for me to get this done. So first thing I needed was a 3D model. I had to find one that's rigged. This is 13 years ago. Second, mocap is out of the way. I had to animate this 
robot by hand. And it's a simple walk cycle. Third, I had to shoot an empty plate. I couldn't move the camera because 3D tracking this 13 years ago, I would need Bougie, which is a million dollars. After Effects did not have 3D tracking back then. So I had to put my camera on a tripod, shoot a clean plate, and then render the 3D model with an Intel Pentium 4 computer. You can only imagine how long that took. And then composited everything terribly in After Effects. And then I added all the camera shake all in post. Because there ain't no way I was going to be able to 3D track this back then. Not for free and not for cheap. Okay? And, and again, I'm, I'm going to let you watch it. it. The robot comes out and he starts walking. Did some fake shadows there using, you know, After Effects, whatever. Alright? So, this right here, compared to 13 years later to this with one click of a button and if you're telling me my friend that this is not groundbreaking technology here i don't know what else to tell you because people like nicola people who created wonder studio wonder dynamics they are just giving us this technology i mean obviously it's going to cost some money but what's crazy about this technology is the future generation of filmmakers will grow up with this technology, a one-click solution technically with CG characters, right? And what's cool about this is if you look at the bottom of this screen, you can actually export all of the layers, all of the elements. So then you can bring the layers in Blender, in Nuke, in After Effects, and make everything better. But for a kid, for me, 13 years ago, was a kid playing around, I, I, I couldn't even imagine what, what I would do with this tech right here. And that's what makes me excited. That's why when I say this is groundbreaking, this is great for my children and their children one day because, my goodness, 13 years ago to now, what I just showed you. And yes, it's going to be paid, I'm pretty sure. But at the same time, how much money do you really spend on your kids' video games? Skins, weapons, whatever, right? So if they really want to make movies... My kid, I'm going to sign him up for this. And granted, I'm, this is not a paid sponsorship. I'm not affiliated with, with Wonder Dynamics and Wonder Studio. But to me, man, my time's done. I'm looking for my children, right? Their future. And for them to have this tool right here. For them to have this tool. We're going to have future George Lucas, Spielberg, Neil Blomkamp, Michael, Jordan. Man. That really excites me because we're going to have so many amazing storytellers who are going to be growing up with an 8K, 12K cell phone camera and apps like Wonder Studio. Now, obviously, this is my first time trying this and I already learned from my mistake with the clothing. I'm going to be testing this out a lot more, playing around with it a little bit more. But as you can see here, we can actually export the AI mocap. We can export the clean plate that it created for us by just clicking a button. The alpha mask, so we can clean it up a little bit. You can download the source video, which I already have that. You can export the final video, character passes. I'm guessing this is probably going to be your color, your shadow. I don't know. We'll see. The camera track data is insane. And the blender scene for the character. All you need is a good story, man. And you can use chat GPT for that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't know. I'm sorry. I I'm talking a lot, but this is really exciting stuff to me, man. This is the future here. If you don't know that and if you don't see it, I don't know what else to tell you.